Hello there. This long band of high pressure and these cold winds do mean a frosty spell of weather for us all. It could last right over the weekend, and if anything, it'll become colder as time goes on. Over eastern Britain, too, there'll be sleet or snow showers running in from time to time as well. And in the west, not to be outdone, there'll be patches of uh, quite persistent fog at times over the next few days there, too. You can see very little change taking place on this chart on the map for noon tomorrow. They are still dominated, as you can see, by the high. There is a front, a cold front over the North Sea. There's cold air behind it, even cold air. Uh, that is likely to mean rather more in the way of showers later on tomorrow in eastern and some southern districts of Britain. But tonight, well, a very cold night everywhere. Temperatures are already dipping well below freezing in many places, especially Scotland and Northern Ireland, or Scotland and Northern Ireland there, where I think frost work could well become severe. Minus six is just 21 degrees Fahrenheit, minus five, 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Elsewhere, uh, uh, quite a sharp frost, minus three is 27 Fahrenheit. Still some showers, sleet, snow, or hail, going along these eastern counties during the night. Most places dry, some patches of fog though, I think, in northwestern Britain, forming later on in the night. And then tomorrow, well, these patches of fog, rather slow to clear, hanging about to, for a good part of the day. We think they will go, then most of us are dry with hazy sunshine at times. But again, some showers of hail, sleet or snow down those eastern counties of both Scotland and England. And later on in the day, we think some of these showers could penetrate some way inland. Eventually, sleet showers getting across parts of southeast England and central southern England too. A cold day everywhere as far as we can see, 3 centigrade to just 37 Fahrenheit, where the fog hangs about. Colder than that, 1 or 2 centigrade, 34 to 36 degrees Fahrenheit. That's it. Good night. Well, I don't suppose your television looks quite like this, but it may well bring back memories of the days when television was in its infancy. We've dusted it off to mark a very historic moment, not only for BBC One, but for television as a whole, because once we go off the air, we wave goodbye to the 405 line transmission system, which started the first public television service. Well, it's been going strong ever since 1936, but in 1964, along came the superior 625 line system, which brought improved definition, and a few years later, of course, colour. Well, it's now uh, just about seven minutes past midnight, and it's goodbye to 405, and it's goodbye from me, for tonight anyway. So may I, David Miles, wish you a very peaceful night on behalf of all at the Television Centre, and I hope that you can join us for more high-definition viewing tomorrow, beginning at 6.30 with breakfast time. Good night. <laughs>